imagine like two female interns getting out of a 26 foot box truck in a loading dock and jaws dropped. They're like, you did not just back that up in there. And I was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> just did. Yeah. Uh, you, you just witnessed it. Hello and welcome to the Dactronics Experience Podcast. I'm Justin Oxner here with Matt Anderson. <laughs> and we are joined today by Jaylee Middlestead. And you're a Dactronics sales intern. And we're going to talk a little bit about your experience and the sales internship. But first, can you tell us uh, a little about yourself and, and kind of how you found the internship? Yeah, thanks guys for having me. So I'm originally from Eastern Montana and I moved to South Dakota to pursue a degree in business administration through USD, University of South Dakota. I, um, I'm currently a senior and I'll graduate in May of 2024, but I found this opportunity through LinkedIn. Scott Rose, the recruiter, reached out to me. It was a whirlwind. I was applying to multiple jobs. I wanted more of like a full-time position. I didn't need an internship for my degree, and so I was just kind of winging it, and he reached out to me, and it was kind of a shot in the dark, but I was like, you know, might as well. Like, I hadn't heard back from anybody else, and it's just, it's a weird time for like searching for jobs. I'm like, okay, well, if they're reaching out to me, maybe this is it. And here I am. So <laughs> nice. Yeah. Have, have you heard about deck trunks at all prior to him reaching out to you or? Um, honestly, I had not. Um, being from Montana, I did cheerleading in high school. I didn't do like football, basketball, anything. So like, I didn't know much about scoreboards or displays, anything. Now I see it everywhere. But yeah. <laughs> uh, so no, I asked my advisor, I'm like, have you had anybody do this internship? Like, can you tell me about Dactronics? And she told me how good of a company they were and everything and that she thought I should apply and it'd be a good opportunity. So, but yeah. I'm still learning to this day what Dactronics is. You're right. <laughs> Same here. Yeah. <laughs> so um, with the position of, of this internship, what is it that you're kind of doing on a day to day basis? Um, so on a day to day basis, I do a lot of. So kind of in general, every day is not the same whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So uh, we do a lot of like customer relation management, Salesforce, trade shows, customer demos, um, and just stuff like that. It's very hands-on, which I enjoy, and a lot of customer-facing work. So Does that come to some of the messaging, I guess, you got when you were being recruited right for this? Because I kind of go back to like what... What interested you in this when you started hearing about what the internship was going to entail? Was it kind of you were being told the uh, every day is not the same or like what you're going to be doing here? Um, I think what interested me the most is that like I hadn't had a professional experience like in a corporate setting before. Mm. And so this was an opportunity for that with less commitment just because it was an internship. And if I didn't like it, it's not like I was like, in a full-time role and just going to deal with it for mm -hmm. a minute or anything like that. And I was paid. I got college credit for it and there was an opportunity to travel and I'm a big traveler myself. So that was the carrot and I bit right there. <laughs> I was like, yep, <laughs> this, this is it. And yeah. so, um, I did have to move my graduation date back to May. I was supposed to graduate in December, mm -hmm. but in hindsight, it gave me more opportunity to look into a career path because business administration is so broad that I had no no idea what I wanted to do with it. There's so many options and so many different things. And so within this internship, I have the opportunity to look at different paths that might interest me. And so that's nice because I still have till May to figure that out now. Yeah. yeah. And you're getting some real world experience while you're at it at the same time. Exactly. And the nice thing with the internship is that you have the opportunity to voice what you're interested in. So like human resources, project management or anything like that. And they give you the opportunity to shadow um, current employees mm -hmm. in that role so you can see what they do on a day-to-day -day and see if you would fit that and ask questions and et cetera. So. Yeah, I know they've always said it's the internship is like a way of Dactronics interviewing you and you yep. interviewing Dactronics yep. on the way back. So so the, the term didn't scare you at all because I know we'll get, I'm sure I'll get into this later, Justin hates it, <laughs> but um, I was an intern myself and I supervised interns for a number of years, but um, what were your thoughts knowing when you found out about the internship and then you know you have to essentially take a semester off of school, like you said, maybe move your graduation day back. None of that scared you? Like, it was okay? I think that was the biggest drawback. Okay. And also, like, moving and, like, leaving my friends for my senior year. Like, that was, like, a big thing. But at the same time, I believe everything happens for a reason. So, mm -hmm. like, if this opportunity was presented, then might as well take it. What's the worst that's going to happen type mm -hmm. thing? And, again, 
now I'm beyond thankful for it. So it just gave me more time and more opportunity all around. So, but yeah. definitely a big, a big, <laughs> that was big the biggest, commitment. yeah, biggest factor. Yeah. So you kind of have to take, take the leap and see what that experience mm-hmm. leads to. Yeah. Um, and you mentioned a little bit of how you get to learn different things and, and show interest in different things. Kind of how is the, the internship structured from, from your standpoint of, of what you can do within the structure of the internship? The intern, the internship is structured. It's um, basically a co-op. It's seven months, so it's January to August or May to December. And I did May to December in 2023. And so within that, like if you're graduated already, you have the opportunity to obtain a full-time role at any time. So if something interests you, interests you, you have the opportunity. Whereas I wasn't graduated, so I didn't. So I was able to explore those career paths and mm-hmm. et cetera. But um, so it's basically structured to get you like hands-on corporate experience, but also like hands-on real world experience. Um, We do a lot of transportation of equipment and demos and trade shows. So it's a lot of networking. And again, a lot of like face-to-face customer facing. And so it helped to learn like professionalism and like how to read the room. And that was like a big thing. So, but it's basically structured just to like kind of get your foot in the door to realize like what you could do. Mm-hmm. And so. I'm kind of curious, even from again, when, when we had done it and I know things have changed since COVID, it was mm-hmm. prior to COVID, they were kind of marked out in different groups. I think we had like an LE internship, there was an HSPR internship, there are different areas like that. Can you maybe talk about how is, how is even that by market? Are you kind of helping out in all markets right now or how is that structured? Um, it's structured. So we're all under the same supervisor now. It used to be that everybody had different supervisors, mm-hmm. different markets. Um, so we're all under the same supervisor, Keith Rashi, And um, we all have different markets essentially, but that's more for just... Um, expense wise, just mm-hmm. for that way, not all of our trips are going to like one market. <laughs> sure. Um, but other than that, we do help out with all markets. Like the trade shows that I attended, I went to transportation, I went to live events, um, large sports venues, spectaculars. Like it's all across the board. So, yeah. And you just, you get to work with everybody, which I feel like it's, that's nicer because it also helps you determine what market you fit best in mm-hmm. and what um, full time employees that you can relate to and fit the best with. So yeah, that's say, a big thing. Getting experience across all markets mm-hmm. has got to be nice to see. There's multiple different aspects of things that Dactronics does. And when you're at those trade shows, kind of what are you doing at the trade show? Are, are you helping set up, tear down, or are you in the booth talking to customers or what's that like? So uh, both. Um, we take the, we transfer the equipment there. We set up, we attend the shows, all the events where I've never felt like an intern. It's you're practically like a full-time employee, like all the same benefits and everything. The only difference is we set up and tear down, but a lot of the employees help set up and tear down also. Mm -hmm. So we never feel like excluded from anything and that such, but yes, we, um, when we attend the trade shows, we attend the events and we get a network, talk to customers, kind of insert what we know for our expertise for Dactronics and like what we've learned. And so it's just, it's a great, it's a great skill to have because all markets mm-hmm. are different and all mm-hmm. the products are different. So each trade show is different and yeah. we're promoting a different thing. So it's definitely very diverse. Yeah. I mean, even thinking of, I know I loved seeing from even my interns or other interns is that maybe that first trade show or first networking event you went to, how outgoing were you, right? Talking to people in the booth or the saying was always among supervisors, hiding in the corner of the booth is what some oh, interns yeah. do. They were scared, but... <laughs> Uh, I would say the progression almost from that to the last one you went with. Can you talk maybe where you, were you, you don't say you had to be in the corner of the booth at the beginning, <laughs> but kind of did you grow in your confidence then overall? Um, I feel like I've always been an extrovert. I like having conversations and I like meeting new people. So I wouldn't say I was hiding in the corner, but it was definitely a lot harder. My first trade show I went to was the second week of the internship. So I, the first week was tr- the first week was learning how to drive the truck. <laughs> so, <laughs> getting certified, getting and, certified, yeah. and everything like that. So <laughs> my knowledge of Dactronics products and even Dactronics as a company itself was a very slim, mm. and so that was hard. But I was just able to have conversations disregarding that to kind of get customers into the booth and start the conversation. And then like a full-time salesperson um, would take over and continue the conversation with what they're looking for and everything. So I could help in a sense of being like the first contact just to kind of like 
get to their attention, but it was very hard to inject anything when I didn't really know <laughs> much. <laughs> Maybe but, a shadow and kind of a sponge yeah, at that point. And it was really cool because I also do like to observe and see how other people interact. And so that was nice. And I, my first show was a transportation show and I went to two transportation shows because of that, because my first, um, my first experience was so good with mm -hmm. that group and that I, re I requested to go to the next one okay. because I just really enjoyed their company and learning from them. And so the second time I went to the transportation show, I had already met people like customers and other vendors from the first one. So that was a lot easier. Yeah. And I felt more, I want to say like at home, just because I already had those relationships Made mm -hmm. sure. But, there's a there's a comfort level there that you yeah, developed exactly. over that time. But um, I would say like it it definitely is hard, especially like if you are kind of more introverted, mm -hmm. um, for your first one, and even like setting up and tearing down. Like your first one is like the driving and everything. It's a new. It's a whole new world and things that I never would have thought of. Mm -hmm. And so, after you get past your first one, I definitely think the next ones are a breeze. It's just getting past that first one. Yeah, you know, so. and we, we talked about the trade shows, right, and where you're going. Where are you actually going? Where, or did you end up in places you didn't expect that you'd travel during your internship? <laughs> yeah, so I um, <laughs> traveled through and to 30 states, resulting in 23,082 miles oh, in geez. seven months. <laughs> 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 I went to Minnesota, Wisconsin. Like, these are where I, like, was the shows and demos were essentially. Mm -hmm. So like Minnesota, Wisconsin, Long Beach, Palm Springs, Arizona, Austin, Texas, <laughs> Washington, DC, New York, um, Orlando. I went to Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, Alabama, Florida, <laughs> all over. It's good all off the cuff here. That's really yeah, impressive. That's, that's good. Which it was awesome though, like driving. <laughs> like everybody asked me, or imagine like, two female interns getting out of a 26 foot box truck in a loading dock and jaws dropped. They're like, you did not just back that up in there. And I was like, Oh yeah, just did. Yeah. Huh? You, you just witnessed it. So <laughs> sure did. But even like the driving aspect, like driving through all those places. Like I saw so many beautiful things like Virginia. I never realized how gorgeous Vin Virginia would be. Cause I'd never been there, yeah. but it, mm -hmm. it was just insane seeing so many, like just, like the views and the scenery mm -hmm. and how you could hit a border of a state and it looked completely different from where you just were. <laughs> yeah, yeah, kind so. of a, a bonus to actually the, mm -hmm. the job is, oh, where am I going? What am I getting yep. to see while I'm there? Yep. And um, along with doing the job and getting that real world experience yeah, too. Exactly. So it goes back to you saying one of the things that interested you, right, was travel and you're mm -hmm. looking at that. So had you traveled a lot prior or had you not and wanted to? Kind of like, how did that fit in? Um, I've traveled a lot before. My family is very big into traveling. Okay. And I plan a lot of trips just for personal. Like, I like going to concerts and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So I was not scared more of the traveling just because I had done it so often. But I was just excited because I didn't really know. When they said travel, there was no, like, description of what the travel would be. Yeah. And so... <laughs> I was excited to see where that would take me and what the travel meant. So, mm -hmm. okay. and Do you have a favorite experience of, of the travel that you've gotten to do, whether it's a place you got to go or a trade show that you were at? Um, I have two. So I think my favorite place I had to like happened to go to was Palm Springs okay. and being completely transparent. I think it was my favorite place just because it's very expensive. <laughs> and at 21 years old, I probably would not be going there anytime <laughs> soon, sure. but it was just really cool. Cause I've never, I've been to like Anaheim and, um, like that area, but like, I've never really been to California and that was just a completely, it just felt like it wasn't in California, like how different it was because it's mm -hmm. kind of secluded mm -hmm. and it was just really pretty. It was a good time to be there. I went in October, so it was really nice and just, I just really liked the atmosphere there. Sure. But I think my favorite trade show would have to be Idea in Austin, Texas. Yeah. That was my second trade show and I went with Ashley Landmark, who we've became really good friends. She was another intern and... Uh, with that, within that trade show, we had the opportunity to intern with Dactronics and also IDEA itself. So we got to see how the conference got put on, while while also seeing like how Dactronics fits in that sure. tra trade show. It was a large um, sports venue, so there was a lot of universities, NFL teams, very very young. Um, 
I forgot the word. Demographic? Just like young (laughs) professionals, a lot of young professionals. And so that was really nice because I could relate to a lot of people. So we made friends at that Mm -hmm. uh, show that we still talk to daily. And so that was really nice. But we, there was, um, we got to help with, um, the events. And mm-hmm. so one of the events was there was an Xbox and then an F1 simulator. And so oh, the wow. top 200 times got to go race on the go-kart track at Circuit of the Americas. Okay. And Ashley and I were a part of that. And so that was really <laughs> cool. But like, we also got to go to Circuit of Americas, do zip lining, go-kart, like go up the tower. We um, toured the Longhorn Stadium, the Moody, Moody Center. Mm-hmm. We met Bevo. Like it was just a very good experience mm-hmm. all around. And we just had a lot more response responsibility at that trade show, not saying we don't normally, Mm -hmm. but it just felt like we were helping a lot more than normal. And so it was just very, it was a very cool experience. So do you feel like networking more even? Because I know like I've been to several ones like this too. When I started, I was going to a lot of technical trade shows, right? Mm -hmm. There's a lot of booth hours and there's some, it's more networking, socializing. And I always feel like you definitely get to know people better, right? Whether it's zip lining or whatever (laughs) you're doing afterwards. (laughs) But did you kind of find it that way? Like it's way easier to network and get in a social setting. It almost seems like you build better connection because of those things. Yes, I do have to agree. The networking was really well, just because we were on both sides, like we weren't just confined to the booth, which not not like we normally are, mm-hmm. but we were put in a position where we had to network. Like yeah. mm-hmm. we had to interact and we had to build rapport and that converse with all these different kinds of people. And it wasn't that they were, we were just talking about Dactronics. We were talking about the whole conference and everything um, in general and like zip lining, Ashley wouldn't go with me. And so we were in the, we were in the food line and I tapped on the person in front of me and I'm like, Hey, are you scared of heights? And they're like, no, I'm like, will you go on the zip line? What's me? And they're like, yeah. And so there was a relationship made there. Like nice. we ended up like a, Ashley and I <laughs> hung out with their group the rest of the trip. Like it was just like you just have to put yourself out there. Like you give yeah. it, yeah. you p- get out what you put in. Yes. And like I feel like that show, Ashley and I really started to understand that for our future. And it sounds so. like there's another aspect to that one is you were working with Idea as an intern too. Mm-hmm. So you got to see the inner workings of another company yep. altogether. If it was even just the Idea Trade Show company. Yeah, that was really cool. Like seeing like all the backhand stuff and like what goes into putting on one of these shows and what they do when the show is not going on and things like that. Mm-hmm. It was it was very cool. We um, had the opportunity to also like hand out um, awards at the award ceremony, oh, yeah. uh, and it was like a big production, like stage everything it was so cool yeah and Ashley and I were able to walk on stage and hand these awards to all these people and they were like top names of like event production at like Miami Heat and etc so it was just it was insane yeah, have you ever been to Idea? I have not. Okay. But I've heard well, you, heard many either, so. you guys should go. We've okay. done podcasts with the people from Idea yeah. talking about it, so well familiar with it. But yeah, yeah. it's the, the all the behind the scenes people and, and things mm-hmm. like that. And they have a podcast coming out here recently with uh, two people listen to. They're the founders or mm-hmm. around the founders of Idea, and I heard, and it was like it was very interesting talking about when they started back in the day when before video boards. And just people behind the scenes never got together into where it's at now, which sounds like very yeah. big production. So no, it, it definitely, I feel like, has changed a lot. And I'm really <laughs> excited to hear where that podcast is going. Yeah. So yeah. it's well, going to be great. We'll have to see if we can share that a link to that one, too, maybe from this one. And we'll have to see <laughs> if we can get two ideas sometimes to experience it. It sounds amazing. Yeah. So. <laughs> no, I really, I, I feel like that was the most influential trip. So Yeah, cool. and you talked a little bit about, you know, you get what you put into it. Mm-hmm. Um, and I know with internships, I did probably three or four and Dak was my last one. But I just want to maybe you talk a little bit about how were you treated as an intern at DAC, like treated as a professional and how were you received at sites? Cause there was different internships I've done again, where mm-hmm. one was like, Oh, the interns got to go get the donuts uh, or yeah. on this one. You got to bring it back. And it was always like busy jobs and stuff, but mm-hmm. maybe just talk a little bit about how we're, how are you treated essentially as an, an intern at DAC? Um, so that's why I think, this is why I think that like I I'm more sure that I want to continue with a career with Dactronics is because as an intern, I was never made to feel like an intern. So if you ever said just an intern, somebody would correct you and be like, no, don't say that. that. (laughs) That's not what you are. Like you're more Dactronics invests in, to their interns just because it is a pipeline. Mm -hmm. Like the amount of people you meet at Dactronics that have been interns is crazy and that's great. Like it's so reassuring seeing that from my perspective that this is going to go somewhere or it could go somewhere and that 
again, they're investing in me and I'm an, I want to invest in them because of that. So yeah, it's just sure. a great, it's a great pipeline. So, and you learn so many things in the internship that you will take through. And especially if you were an intern, like, you know what the new interns or like the upcoming interns go through so you mm-hmm. can better relate to them or better help them succeed. Yeah. yeah. So. And Matt's an example of that. He <laughs> yeah. went through the internship and now we're what, 17 years 17 later? Years yeah. Still so here. Yeah, made it a long ways there. Um, yeah. Overall, is, has the internship or experience here at Dactronics been what you expected when you first found out about it and applied? Um, honestly, no, not at all, but not in a bad way. Like, I didn't know what to expect, I think is what I'm saying. They told me multiple times exactly what I was going to expect. I think Mm -hmm. I just didn't grasp it. Or I'm like, oh, it'll be okay. Mm -hmm. But I think it it kept me more open-minded to everything, the fact that, like, I didn't know what to expect, Mm -hmm. which I, I, there's no growth in comfort. So it's probably a good thing that I, you know, just didn't expect anything, but I made it this far. So, (laughs) but no, I, it's, it's better than what I expected. That's for sure. So. And then one of the elements too, I think we talked about networking and all these other career type things will help you no matter where you go. Maybe how about confidence a little bit? If you think about, I mean, it was either you not being confident about speaking about the Dectronx products at the beginning <laughs> yeah. mm-hmm. or even envisioning you already backing a truck into a docking bay, getting out, slamming the door and being like, yep, you just saw that happen. Like, yeah. <laughs> maybe talk about, did it build your confidence? I know you said you're an extrovert, you're very outgoing, but how did it help you make with confidence from beginning to end? Definitely made me more comfortable starting conversations. Like that's something I've always enjoyed, but now... I feel probably a lot more com- confident just starting like small talk or like random conversations, people on the street, like I'm just not scared and it gave me more oomph mm-hmm. to do it. Mm-hmm. And so that really benefited me as well as like reading the room and stuff like that. Those are skills that like I thought I had, but this definitely strengthened it. Mm-hmm. And so I feel like my confidence has definitely grown. Like I've definitely grown professionally and personally because of this opportunity. And I can't wait to see where it takes me. Hence, like being on this, this is some like being on this podcast. I never <laughs> would imagine myself here, yeah. but here I am. And it's just because like I, I don't know. I just have the second wind that like I can do anything that I want. Like the world's my oyster type thing. Yeah. Okay, and I. Definitely didn't have that before. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah you, you mentioned uh, on to the next thing. Do you have uh, plans for the future or what's, what's next for you? Um, I'm currently a business trainee student mm-hmm. con- with Dactronics just because I am finishing school. Mm-hmm. And so that will go until May. But after I hope to obtain a full-time role, I'm still kind of picking at what direction I want to go. There's a lot of opportunities. And again, that's why I'm kind of thankful I have that extra time because I didn't, I knew it was, there was going to be a lot, but I didn't realize how many and how many different things that yeah. interest me because <laughs> school is great. And like school helped me decide my major and everything, but there's so many positions that I didn't know were a thing and so many different things that now like interest me that I want to look more into. So maybe sure. Cause I was going to think maybe, um, <laughs> A little bit towards the end of the internship, like how did it wind down even kind of, because I don't, do you still do the management presentations at the end or kind of how is the end of the, the end of the internship go? Um, yeah. So uh, by the end of the internship, I was pretty much the only one left <laughs> just because everybody else had obtained full time. Okay. So that was kind of funny just because that was the only time I did feel like an intern just oh, yeah. because all my other Co-workers, uh, they were like, oh, we're not interns, you are. So, like, I was, they were all doing, like, I don't want to say, like, <laughs> they all had, respon- like, way more responsibility, but I'm like, oh, let's go do this. And they're like, we can't. And I'm we're like, oh, <laughs> oh, I'm an intern. And so, but then, yep, the intern, t- intern management presentations, we did that. Okay. That was really fun to make and design, mm-hmm. but I talked about seven months of experience in seven mm-hmm. minutes so that that was not that that was not good i definitely <laughs> could have talked about a lot more mm-hmm. i think i was just nervous so yeah i was nerve-wracking for mine it was at the time it was i mean building six wasn't even done i don't think it was no. just being put up um but there was a smaller room you were going to be you your supervisor and then it was our ceo jim morgan um yep. our cfo bill ritterath was there 
and there was like Frank Kern mocking. It was just the executive level <laughs> people in there, and that was it in a small room. Oh no! It was just I remember just being one of the most nerve wracking yeah. things. So that's one of the things I always think of the internship is you know how did you get it? How the internship go? And then how was that final presentation that you gave? So ours was a lot better. It was just over a <laughs> Teams call, and oh, okay. anybody could join. But yeah. I didn't have experience really sharing my screen. Oh okay. And so <laughs> that kind of was a hiccup. And the fact that I could since I was sharing my screen, I couldn't see myself. Mm -hmm. And so I was just like, oh, just talking. And then I was like, oh, there's people on here that are like watching me right now. And this is recorded. <laughs> so nice. so with, with your whole experience and everything that you've kind of gotten to do, the, the experience, the travel um, and, and your presentation, and you said it, it kind of was not exactly what you expected, but you didn't know what to expect. It was maybe better. What would you tell somebody who's looking at potentially applying for an internship at Dactronics? I would tell them that it is a phenomenal experience, probably once in a lifetime. Like I will never get any of these experiences again. And I am ha so happy and thankful that I took that leap of faith. Um, it's a great opportunity again for corporate experience without the commitment, professional growth, personal growth, and the opportunity to see the world while you're, this is the youngest I'm ever going to be, youngest mm -hmm. anybody's ever going to be, like take that chance. There's so many different places that I went that I saw that I'm like, I could see myself living here. And just things like that. I never, I was never sure if I was going to fit in a corporate setting mm -hmm, mm -hmm. or such, and here I am and I wanna continue. Like you never know unless you take the chance. So I'd rather regret doing it than regret not doing it and seeing what could have been. Mm -hmm. sure. And so it definitely, it's a good place to start to figure out, again, your career path and like where you could see yourself and just opening so many different opportunities. Cause even networking with all these potential vendors, customers or whatever, that could be an open door for you. Yeah. So mm -hmm. there's just so many opportunities and it's just, I definitely take that leap if you have the opportunity. Yeah. Sure. It's definitely getting to know all the different areas of Dactronics. Mm -hmm. That's what we've talked about in the past too. Yeah. It's like myself too. I do like billboard training, transportation, mm -hmm. HSPR live events. So it's, it's one of the only times you're going to get to be able to have that kind of experience because yeah. Not to say you were jealous, I, but no, was, I, I didn't have that experience. I didn't do an internship. I, I was hired straight full time. Too, but, but I remember the comment yeah. you made the one time was like, "Yeah, you got hired for this role, right?" And yeah. you can maybe yeah. eventually learn about all the areas of DAC, but you can't all of a sudden just get up and go to North Carolina and do a billboard training next week yeah. and learn about billboard that it's, way. So that's it's true. Like, it's your <laughs> yeah. only chance to kind of mm -hmm. test the waters and see what's all yeah. about. And which I never thought I'd be passionate about LED displays, but yeah. here yeah. we are. I can tell you a lot about them now. Yeah. But right. and now you see DAC everywhere. You said yeah. so, yeah, and you didn't before. But it's nice doing the customer demos because not only like networking and such, but you get the hands on with the products mm. and explaining them. I had the opportunity to go up to Redwood Falls, our manufacturing plant, and work on the assembly line, like putting the displays together. And it just gave me a whole new like meaning to like what goes in to building these displays. It gave me a lot more product knowledge yeah. and everything. That was a really good experience. And we work with so many different products and everything. So it's good to like have them in your hand and be able to figure out like how to explain them and what the difference is and mm -hmm. what would work best for the customer, so. Absolutely. Sure. Yeah, is there anything else we missed that you want to highlight today? You don't have to give a shout out to Heath at all in case he's watching, but. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, I feel I, like I, I already, already did that. Time, so <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you were giving one shout out, so. But is there anything else we missed about the internship that you want to share at all, or did we hit everything? Mm -hmm. No, just opportunities are really endless. Um, within Lee is like, there, it's, all, it's work, but there's also play. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. I, um, the experiences I got also like can be translated to the real world. Like again, driving the box truck, I'm not scared to move. Like if I'd have to move and I needed to rent one of those, Beast cake. Yeah. I, I'm not scared at all. Like I could, I know I could do it. Yep. And again, like vehicle maintenance and everything like that. Like these are things that I'm going to use and potentially day-to-day -day life that I mm -hmm. never would have had. I'm, I might be from Montana, but I never really had experience pulling a trailer. I drove oh, to yeah. Arizona by myself pulling an enclosed trailer, and I did it. Like, yeah. Yeah. everybody, I mean, there probably was some doubts, but, I mean, I made it there and back by myself with yeah. the, really no hitches. And so it's just, it's crazy how much I got out of this. So. Nice. 
Well, we appreciate you taking the time to come and sit with us and tell us yeah. all about your experiences with the internship and all those extra little benefits that you found out along the way. So thank you for taking the time. Thank you guys for having me. I appreciate it. This yeah. was fun. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thank you.